In March 1959, the Chinese government established the office of Xisha, Nansha and Zhongsha Islands, which will be mainly responsible for the guiding of development and construction of the South China Sea Islands, exercising, maintaining and defending China's territorial sovereignty. Before the 1970s, not a single legal document in the Philippines had any expression that the Nansha Islands belonged to the Philippines. The territorial limits of the Philippines are defined by numerous international treaties. These treaties clearly indicate that the South China Sea Islands are not within the scope of the Philippine territory. How did the South China Sea disputes between China and the Philippines arise? Along with the release of a report in 1968, the South China Sea came into the center of the spotlight around the globe. The report, issued by the Committee for Coordination of Joint Prospecting for Mineral Resources in Asian Offshore Areas, CCOP, reveals that the east and south of the Nansha Islands is rich in oil and gas resources. Faced with an international petroleum crisis and emboldened by greed, the Philippines engaged in massive exploitation of oil and natural gas in the South China Sea, disregarding the sovereignty and rights and interests of China. Having already encroached on Ma Huan Island, Fei Xin Island and Zhongye Island, the Philippines further occupied Nanyua Island, Beizhe Island and Shi Yua Island of China Nansha Islands in 1971. In 1978, the government of the Philippines named the islands it occupied, as well as other islands and reefs of China, as Kalayan Islands Group and illegally put them under the administration of Province of Palawan. Until 1980, the Philippines had encroached a total of eight of the Nansha Islands in a short span of ten years. The Philippines explained to the international society the basis of occupying the islands. Because of the Claiming itself the first country to occupy the Nansha Islands is indeed based on the lie of Terra Nullius it made up. Whereas the fact that China has been administering the Nansha Islands for over 1,000 years renders the Philippines' claim as groundless. As early as in 1933, France had already taken Terra Nullius as an excuse to occupy nine of the Nansha Islands, but had withdrawn under the representations of the Chinese government. The Philippines' fabrication of its false account is somewhat relevant to the absurd behavior of the Filipino businessman Tomas Cloma in claiming its discovery of the Nansha Islands. On February the 17th, 2009, the Philippines, despite the opposition of the Chinese government, signed an act to redefine the archipelagic baseline of the Philippines, which encompasses part of the Nansha Islands and Huang Yen Island into its jurisdiction. The Philippines continued infringing upon Chinese sovereignty without paying any attention to China's repeated representations. The Philippines had gone further and further on its path where it constantly infringes upon China's sovereignty rights and interests, harms Chinese fishermen's life and property safety, threatens the peace and stability in the South China Sea, as well as endangering bilateral relations. The dispute in the South China Sea between China and the Philippines is becoming increasingly fierce.